All right, and here is the video review for Beast Box BB55 from 52 Toys. This is Sigma. This one's very cool. Um, cooler than Zephyr? I don't know, because again, beetles. But also, dinosaurs are also cool. Um, are really cool, even as a 40 year old. 40. I'm not. I'm older than 40. I'm closer to 50, which is weird to say at this point. But anyway. Dinosaurs still rule. Doesn't matter how old you are, unless you're so old that you're just like you lived with them and you're like dinosaurs were everyday things. Anyway, Stigma, blue box, charger, as usual. Clippy, clippy, they all go together. Makes a nice modular wall. Drop them in as a box, hold them up, storage. Open it up, pop them back out, toy. Great. So what is he? He's a cube. What can he become? Let's find out. So come over here. Before I start with this guy. Open this up. Crap. I've been playing with the Beatles all day and I've forgotten how to turn him into a... There we go. Let's just start opening things up. And once we start moving parts, we'll get there eventually. Oh yeah, these. This. Alright, this part comes up. Pop that up. There we go. Now we're cooking with... Uh, Something approximating gas. I'll untab these two right here. And get this panel out. It's going to flip out its head. This is his crest. I'm going to bring that down. And rotate it around like that. Untab these pieces so it can angle. Um, yeah, that's better. This little piece. The dinosaurs, both of the dinosaurs that I have, and there are more. There's like Thunderhoof. There's a couple like brach Brachiosaurs, Brontosaurs, uh, a Plesiosaur. There's another, there's a couple little raptors slash tyrannosaur type looking ones from their earlier line there's even an earlier uh, triceratops i believe uh that i don't have this one's a cooler triceratops and we'll get to it but yeah bring this down and fold this up like that and this is going to be his neck but then this piece but both of them have a weird from the upper body clip into the head like uh jawbreaker the stegosaur has a thing where like his little neck panel clips into the underneath his kind of into his vocal cord box, voice box area. This one has a little ball joint that pegs into the back of the head, but bring that up and then I'm going to snap that into place like that. And this should actually, this is all said and done. This, these should actually, they unpegged from these blue pegs and they should peg onto these white pegs. So you gotta, there we go, like that. And then you can angle these back. As you see fit, there's also some little panels here that flip out. And you gotta be careful because these are on ball joints. And if you get them to where they, uh, you want to kind of fold them out because if you if you get into interference, it's very easy to pop these little ball joints out. But for the lower part of the head crest, you can see there's the extra piece down here. It's not out over here yet. So yeah, and then there's the head. You can see already looking cool from from Dyna mode. Then this piece comes out, flips around. It was up here. It's going to rotate around and kind of. This is why I like this one, because it's got a lot of pieces that don't need to be in place. So you bring these down, rotate the legs around there. That's on the ball joint. Again, I didn't bring that. It's my fault for not bringing it all the way down first, and I caught it on the, the thing. It's, um, yeah, bring that, bring the toe out. But yeah, so quality of life things. Like, they could have not just had this be a square piece, a square panel, and, and left it at that for the... Uh, for the body here. Angular, sure, but it turns into a box. You know this. But they made this piece so it comes out, it's on a ball joint, rotates, and then kind of gives them a more natural curve to its belly. Smart engineering. Um, I really, really like that. Uh, this piece comes out. I've got to unpack, actually unpack it from up the front here. And uh, you see there's a, little, there's a couple of just tiny tabs you got to get loose, actually just on this one side. So this can flip out. So this flips out and down. And this becomes, uh, bring this out and around like this. And then uh, this snaps together. Flip these little panels out right here. Tips of his tail. Like this. Bring this down. It pegs in right there. And then uh, I want to make sure these are fully extended. There's a double hinge here. So you want to make sure that, that black hinge comes all the way out or this won't be able to peg in properly. Peg the tail together. Bring it down. And then these pieces unpeg and flip up and kind of fill in. Again, could have left it just like that. Nobody would question it. It's a dinosaur, 
but then they have these little panels that come up and flip in and kind of again fill in and then you can push these panels angle them in to angle his body and there is a cool dinosaur like i said they didn't have to do that still would have accepted it as a dinosaur without like this panel and this panel being there but alas they made a couple of little minor adjustments additions that make this just an overall nicer package nicer looking dino mode now there are some panels here you can lift these up and there's an orange panel here that i'm not entirely sure where it's officially supposed to go i don't know if it's supposed to stick up like that or supposed to stay flat you can do it however you want uh, i'm going to lift this up because there's little panels here that most pictures even that, that don't come this did not come there's a version that comes with a bonus uh, piece these can flip up and come around out of the body like this and kind of sit up here outside of the uh on the back of the dinosaur and a lot of pictures without the bonus show these this has a, a peg a three millimeter peg and a clip hole or peg hole slash clip so you can the bonus version came with a giant cannon so it can wield weapons and if you have any of the little uh plastic weapon kits that came as bonuses with some of the earlier figures or if you bought the bonus version of this one with the giant cannon he's got the support structure here to uh to wield some of those weapons and if you would just want it for the detail or the kind of techno look, you can leave those out and open here. But they're designed to have weapons pegged into them. And if not, you can lift this up. You don't have to have the weapons packed up forward. Or if you didn't get the bonus, just take this up. Fold it all back in and around like this. And then just fold it back down to his back. And then you can just have a solid dinosaur. Now this piece, again, you can fold it flat. I like to bring this up, fold these in, and then just kind of have it sit just at a slight angle like that, it just kind of gives, again, a little bit more of a natural slope to the back of the dinosaur, but it's entirely up to you. But all in all, a really nice package and a really nice Triceratops, a uh, robot Triceratops from a Beast Box. Like, a definitely an improvement over the original, which was which is already kind of neat. But yeah, he's got, you can turn his head side to side and kind of look up and down with, with, with the way the pieces align. Uh, even with that pegged in, you can see that there's a hinge here, a hinge here, the ball joint up here, and then these, because these are round pegs, can rotate. So you've got a decent range of motion there in the dinosaur head as well. Uh, so you can put it however you want, can look side to side, ball joint to the shoulders, uh, dual hinges in the legs, feet, toes, feet, toes, you, you heard me. The tail can kind of go up and down. I thought maybe it had a little bit of wiggle, but I guess it does not. That's my fault. These are on ball joints, so those can move around a little bit as well. But yeah, there is Sigma as a dinosaur. And just to see how fun he is, here he is with another uh, jawbreaker, the aforementioned jawbreaker, the Stegosaur. Now they have just released one just called, I think, Stegosaur. That is a green body with uh, the transparent pieces being orange, which is, in my brain, the proper coloring for a Stegosaur. It's big green lizard skin with kind of reddish-orange plates just because that was how the dominant way I remember it being depicted as a child. But, um, you know, but Jawbre I, I do like the, the purple and green of, of Jawbreaker, so I don't know if I'm going to double up on the Stegosaur mold. I might, I might, just because. But yeah, they look really good together. And it's enticing me to maybe pick up Thunder Hoof. And uh, they, did a, they did a Pterosaur. Pterosaur, pterodactyl of some sort. I can't remember its name. Hover, maybe? Rover? Can't, something like that. But um, but these two just together are good friends. So like these two together, the Beatles all as a group, getting some nice little Beast Box, te beast box teams going, as, as well as the, uh, the, the canine unit team that, you know, can form into the giant dinosaur as well. So, uh, so yeah, really solid figure, like really nicely designed. Like it's really neat to see how... Uh, Beast Box has started, 5G Toys has started with their designs from the very original box figures, uh, just their just their dinosaur designs, how they've evolved from the get-go, because some of the very early ones were like a kind of raptory T-Rex design, a basic Triceratops gorilla, to things like Jawbreaker and Sigma and Bullet and Nightwing uh, or Kitewing and the canine team and like the, the mechanical, like the... Uh, construction workers and the ninja turtles that they've done that they make the turtle van like it's really been wonderful watching the company evolve 
uh, and seeing how the engineering has changed and grown over the years while still saying, hey, look at this cool thing. Let's make it a box. It seems ridiculous, but it's been a really fun idea for a toy line. It makes storage great. It, uh, it makes accessing them when you want to just fiddle with them for a few minutes very easy. Um, and the fact that they're making cooler and cooler designs is just is just really neat to watch. But there is BB-55 Sigma. Uh, definitely one of the highlights of their entire line. And they put out some good figures. The Owl. Um, just, just a lot of really good stuff. But there's Sigma. Uh, 